I'm Ian. I'm Lauren. I'm Martin. We are the band Churches, and these are our marquee memories. I went to see Radiohead, so before you at me, I know it's one word. I was the biggest fan, I was 14 or 15. My parents irresponsibly allowed me to travel to London and I took a, a girl and I get to stay over in a hotel in London. <gasps> Did you kiss her? Did you tell your parents that before? I didn't tell them. <laughs> One, they played the song How To Disappear. It was what well, wasn't top for years. I don't, maybe it'll never be topped. Anyone that's seen us live will know and I'd jump around like a maniac and I'd be lying if I said that wasn't like influenced by oh, no. Tom York. It's like, like, it's like, I know, <laughs> I'm like one is outside the gas station. <laughs> So I finally saw Nick Cave for the first time last year um, at the King's Theatre in New York. This is one I've waited years and years and years and years for. He is an amazing musician, but he's a, a, a poet, I think. I don't he's think got books of poetry as well. And I've read them yeah. too. Brilliant. The way he uses imagery and the honesty with which he writes is really inspirational to me. And I think somebody like Nick Cave, Depeche Mode, Nine Inch Nails, like that kind of stuff, is kind of what we were thinking about when we were putting that live show together. So I guess that's how it applies now. Jane's addiction, yeah. Back in 1995. Back in <laughs> mists of time, <laughs> 1988. I was I was kind of a metal kid at school. I managed to get a ticket, only having heard this one this one song. Three of the band members came on stage, stripped to the waist with dreadlocks, and the, you know, fans blowing their hair, and um, they started playing the intro to Up the Beach. Still no sign of Perry Farrell. And then he walks in, like dressed head to toe in like bondage gear. Like he pulls a girl out from the front row and like like gives her full on winching, like kisses her. Throws her back into the crowd and then fucking starts the song. If you try and pull someone out of the crowd and kiss them, you're going to jail. Yep, oh, this is somebody much. you know and you've prearranged it and you're like, hey. A yeah. plant? The whole experience was just really amazing and weird. You play bass like a pure rock star. So <laughs> you are definitely influenced by it. Oh, like, there you go. He goes up the front, like does all the moves and that. Thank you for listening to Church's Marquee Memories. We are going to be on tour forever. So please come, please come to our show and maybe it can be one of your Marquee Memories in the future. We'll try.